What's up guys, T-Mart here, and uh, this is big man, this is seriously huge. I cannot believe that they've done this. This is totally gonna change the landscape of gaming headsets. What I'm talking about here are the brand new Astro Gaming A10s, the $60 headset from Astro. So Astro has always been known for making fantastic headsets. I mean, they have been the premier choice of headset for pro players for as long as I can remember. I remember way back in the day when I was first getting into Call of Duty, I wanted Astros. That's what you had to have if you wanted to be legit. And then I started working with them. It's been a fantastic relationship and I completely stand behind their product. Fantastic quality, very comfortable, very good audio quality, but they're expensive. I mean, when you have the best of the best, they are very expensive. And right now, the A50s are $300, the A40TRs are $250. And if you're a hardcore gamer, I think that's worth it. Like, yeah, that's a lot of money, but I do think it's worth it with how much use you're gonna get out of them. But for a lot of people, that's just simply too much. Like, you, they, you, just, you can't spend that much money on something as silly as a gaming headset. And that's where this thing comes in. So this is their A10, obviously brand new, never before seen. I haven't even tried them on yet. I'm gonna experience them right now with you guys. And um, as long as it holds up to the Astro name, if they can make a pretty good headset for 60 bucks, this is really exciting. These things, as you guys can see, have never been out of the box. And actually today, the day you guys are watching this video when it was uploaded, this is the actual like announcement day for these things. So technically these things haven't even been announced yet when I'm doing this video, which is crazy. So we got some high tech secrecy right here. But um, yeah, look at this man. Tuned with Astro Audio, designed for gaming, streaming, and VR. Premium fit and finish, long lasting comfort, durable construction. That's actually, this is one of the things they were highlighting to me. They said that I really need to abuse these things because they can take it. So all my rage moments, these are gonna be good for that. We gotta try to get this thing open. Here we have what looks to be our warranty booklet and like refund information if you have to send it back in. So that's useful. And then we're gonna go ahead and open this up and there they are. So the packaging is not quite as crazy as some of the normal Astro stuff. We've done other unboxings on this channel. Astro packaging is always some of the nicest packaging I've seen, but they're saving money and you're saving money in the process. So uh, we've got the headset right here and we've got our cables and all kinds of stuff. So it looks like this thing doesn't actually need a mix amp. Dude, this, this has some weight to it. It feels, it feels pretty nice. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing out. And actually, so I was telling you guys that they were stressing to me that they're really, really durable. They said that in some of their like meetings and stuff that they've been showing it off to people, they're dropping it on concrete from like five or six feet up and it's surviving with absolutely no problem. So wow, look at these things, dude. I mean, they look nice. It's got this like matte plastic finish to it and then there's gloss plastic in there, which is a nice little two-tone look to it. It's also got it kind of around the edges here. On top, you can see the Astro logo. This is pretty cool. So you've got the over-ear ear cups. You've also got the padding up top. I'm gonna try to wear these in a second just to see how comfortable they are. Technically, I kind of need like a long six-hour gaming session or something to really tell you guys about that. But we could probably do like a more in-depth review if you guys would be interested. Um, these things do have the flip-up mic, which is nice. So you put them on like this. When you want to talk, you flip that down. It's live. If you want to mute yourself, you just flip it back up, which is really sick. It does not look like it's removable, so you can't change the speaker tags or anything like that. But still, these things look pretty good. I like the PS4 blue. I'm pretty sure the Xbox is green on the inside and sides. So we've got that, cables. I just want to see what's in here. This right here is your volume switch. You guys can see you just kind of slide it up and down like that. This end plugs into the left ear cup of the headphone. The other end plugs into your PlayStation 4 controller just like that. Look at that. And if you have the Xbox One, it has a little adapter to plug it in. But holy cow, man, it's that simple. Or you could take this, you could plug it into a computer, you could plug it into like a cell phone, for example, as long as you don't have the new iPhone, and boom. So that's how it works. Super, super simple. No mix amp, no crazy software setups or anything like that. Honestly, that's kind of nice. We'll have to wait and see how the audio quality sounds. But um, that's sick, dude. Holy cow. I like these things. They've got like a good feel to them. They're light, but they've also got this like, kind of like durable, good, heavy feel to them. And look at this, you can bend these things. Like what? What other headset do you know can do this kind of stuff and not end up breaking? I'm telling you guys, Astro told me to do that. All right, I think it's time to try these things on. 
Interesting. How do they look? Do I look good? I'm looking at myself up in the top of the camera up here. I think they look pretty good. They, um, I'm gonna be honest, they're not as comfortable as my A40TRs that I use daily, but they're not bad. There's just not as much cushioning. It does a decent job of blocking out background sounds. Obviously, it's not gonna be as good as some of the more expensive headsets, but it's not bad. And I don't know, like just based off of first impression, I think I could wear this for a while. Sometimes that changes when you have those super long gaming sessions, but overall, this feels pretty good. Like up top, it feels really good. Around the ears, probably could use a little bit more cushion, but I mean, it's a $60 headset. So obviously it's not gonna be the cream of the crop, the Maybach of headsets like my A40TRs are, but overall for $60, these things feel pretty good. Excuse my messy desk, but uh, we're in here. I'm gonna try these things out for at least a couple of games. I can't do a super long play session because I have a flight to Los Angeles here pretty soon, but um, I wanna check them out and give you guys a first initial impressions of the sound. Okay, so I got a couple of games in and um, they're honestly not that bad. Are they as good as the A40TRs? Absolutely not. The sound is not nearly as full, there's not nearly as much bass, but, it does do what a headset does. Like it tells you if somebody's coming from in front of, behind of, left or right of you. It gives you a better experience than just playing through your TV speakers. So as a headset, absolutely it works. As a 60 r headset, I think it's pretty good. I don't really have too much experience in that headset range because I've been using Astros for like the past five years. But um, I'm assuming that it's pretty good compared to most $60 headsets. Like it feels super solid. Honestly, the build quality feels really good compared to the normal ones. The sound quality is where it lacks a little bit more, but that's to be expected when it's literally like one fifth of the price. It is missing a few of the bells and whistles. So like on the A40s, the, the things will turn when you have them around your neck. So it's a lot more comfortable to wear. Here, I kind of feel like I'm wearing a turtleneck. I got a, a headset turtleneck on, uh, stuff like that. The, the A40s and A50s, it is nice to be able to customize all your presets and kind of set it to how you want to have it for certain games. And there's just a lot more customization there, but overall for a $60 headset, I think they're pretty solid. That's my first impressions. I am gonna use these things some more just to kind of get a better feel for them. I'll update you guys if you guys are interested, but I just wanna share this with you guys. For those of you guys out there who don't have a headset, I definitely think you need one. It's gonna hugely improve your gaming experience. Whether you get Astros or get something else, whatever you want, like do your research, you do you, but um, these things seem pretty good if you guys are interested. So if you guys want to, you can use the link down in the description. If you click through that link, it'll give you 5% off and it gives me a little commission. So you get to save some money and you're supporting me at the same time. So feel free to use that. Don't feel like you have to though. Do your research, make your own informed decision. I just, I don't know. I'm an Astro fanboy. I'm not gonna lie. So I think they're pretty decent, but um, I would definitely rather have my A40s. Like we're, I'm gonna keep my A40s, no doubt. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.